What's going on everyone? I'd like to start off this video by giving a shout out to Lion Arts who contacted me on Twitter. Lion Arts took some time out of his day to create a channel background for me, which I thought was really, really cool. Thank you so much. Lion Arts basically makes banners, wallpapers, emotes, thumbnails, all that kinds of stuff. I'll leave a link in the description below if you guys wanna check out what he does, but I just wanna say thank you. Today's video is a comment response that I got a couple months ago from a person named Damien Bain. He commented on one of my videos and he asked me if I can make a PewDiePie wave effect, which the wave effect looks like this. And just recently, a couple days ago, I also got a comment from Otto as well, requesting the same thing. So that's what we're gonna make today. What I did for this design is I kind of incorporated his pink and black wave graphic onto a keyboard and I've also used some chroma lighting to spell out the PewDiePie name and I've added some other things in there like a reactive and a caps lock and num lock indicator and stuff like that but I'll show you guys just how I made this design. If you guys like the video please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and bell icon, that way you guys see future keyboard lighting videos. We're gonna get right into this design. This is PewDiePie. All right guys, first off, to start with a brand new design, we're gonna click on these three dots up here and we're gonna click add. Make sure you click on static to add this static layer here and delete the existing spectrum cycling that exists in this block. You can do that by selecting the layer and clicking this delete key here. With this static layer in here, we're gonna select all of our keys and we're gonna choose a color that's similar to PewDiePie's background design, somewhere between pink and red on this color chart. This looks good for me, I'm gonna hit save. That's all we're gonna do with a static layer. Next, we're going to go ahead and add a wave layer. With this wave layer, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create the uh, black wave looking effect that you see going across the keyboard. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna hold control and I'm gonna scroll wheel in just to zoom in on my keyboard a little bit. And I'm gonna select all of the keys on my keyboard here except for my Razer logo. Click on that color drop down, and we're gonna choose a five node pattern. What I'm going to do first is delete this middle node here. So we have four nodes. The first node is going to remain black. Second node we're going to make invisible and we're just going to close that off a little bit. Same thing on this side. We're going to have black and an invisible. I'm actually going to make these sections of black a little bit smaller. Maybe just a couple of nodes width just like this on each side. That looks good right there. Actually, I'm gonna reduce the speed down to about 10. Everything else can remain the same here and we'll hit save. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this second row of keys, except for this last key. We're gonna leave that unselected. And we're just gonna go into our color drop down here. And then once again, we are going to just slide these over a little bit, slide these over a little bit, with this selected, we're gonna click add, which is gonna add a node to the left of it. And we're just gonna give like a two key width here in the middle and make this one invisible. So now you have invisible with a little bit of uh, black in there. And then on the other end, we're gonna do the same thing. Just slide that over a little bit, drag that over, click that add, and we're gonna make this invisible. So you have a little bit of black on each end and it's slowly closing in towards the middle. That looks good right there. I'm gonna hit save. And we're gonna copy these keys here. So control C to copy that. And we're gonna paste it into this next row up. Paste that in there. Now make sure you select off in the gray and then reselect those keys just so you don't get the copy and paste glitch. Now with these keys selected again, we're gonna do the same thing. Just slowly drag things in a little bit on each side. So that looks good right there. I'm gonna hit save. Once again, I'm gonna hit control C to copy those. 
and I'm just going to go into the next line up without selecting the last key here and paste that in there. Select off again and then reselect those keys. Click on your color drop down and do the same old song and dance. Drag these in a little bit. That looks good there. I'm gonna hit save. Once again, copy that line and paste that in right above. Select off and then reselect the line and slowly move in a little bit more. This time I'm basically gonna have these middle two invisible nodes touch while sliding everything in just a tad. So you can see it's starting to come together here and hit save. There's kind of a gap here on the left side. So what I'm gonna do is reselect these, click on this and just drag this left black node over a little bit more just to get rid of that. Close up that gap a little bit. That looks good. I'm gonna hit save. So I'm gonna select this line here that we did last and I'm going to paste it into the top and we're going to make this look uh, as best we can to close up that top gap. So we're gonna delete all the middle ones here. Bring these black nodes closer together and just kind of look at your preview and you can see that it's a little bit more left than I would like it. So I'm just gonna drag all these nodes over to the right a little bit more. Even more to the right. Uh, that looks pretty good there. I just wanna make it a little bit smaller. That looks pretty good, I like that. So I'll hit save there. And now you can see you kind of have a black wave pattern that's going across your keyboard. Okay, so here at this point, we've kind of replicated a little bit of what PewDiePie's graphic looks like. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to spell out PewDiePie's name. And doing so, we're gonna do it with a little bit of a chroma effect. So multiple colored lights on each letter. To do this, what we're gonna do is add a brand new wave layer. And we're just gonna rename this new wave layer to Pew, which is the first part of his name. And with this new wave layer selected, we're going to select the P key. We're going to make the width percentage 400, leave the speed at 15, and we're gonna change the angle down to 180 degrees. Once we've hit here, we're going to select the gradient bar and we're gonna choose a three node pattern. On the very far right, we are going to make this node red. In the middle, we're gonna keep it green and we're just gonna drag that really close to the red. And this last node here, we're gonna make pink. Click this addition symbol to add one more node and this new node we're gonna make invisible and just drag that in close together. So now you can see on the right side, this is kind of the beginning of my wave. So the P is going to flash for a little bit and then it's gonna have a pause. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this effect that we have in this key and we're gonna go to the E and we're gonna paste that effect in there. Select off of your keyboard and then back onto the E key. Click on your color drop down, and from the left side here, we're gonna click on that node, add a new one and drag that in. Make this second key pink, third key green, fourth key red, and then we're just gonna make the last key here invisible. So you can see we've just replicated this pattern but we've moved over one node space. So you can see from the wave, the P will light up first and go through its colors, and then the E will light up. So we're just gonna continue this on. Always copy the key you did previously and paste that effect into the next letter. So we're gonna paste this into the W. Go ahead and do that. Select off of the keyboard 
and back onto that key. That way you don't get the copy and paste glitch. Click on your color gradient and we're gonna do the same thing. Add a new node, slide that in, make this pink, green, and red. The next node we're gonna make invisible and then we're gonna delete the last invisible key here. And we're just gonna do this process over and over. So you can see now that this wave pattern or wave layer now spells out pew. To move on to the next part of his name, what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click this effect layer and duplicate it. We're gonna rename this new layer to die or pewdy or D, however you wanna say it. This is the middle part of his name. And we're going to delete the P key and the E key. And we're gonna make sure we copy this last effects effect that we did here. Control C on that. And we're going to paste that on the D key. Select off and then select back on. And we can click on this color drop down here so we're going to delete all the nodes to the right of this first invisible, just like that. Click the add, drag that in. You can see it, it created a copy to the right. We don't want that, so um, just drag this node over in here close to that. Click on this key or this node, add a new one, and it'll add them to the left. This first one we're gonna make red add another, green, add another, pink, add another, invisible. And drag all those in. You can delete this first invisible. And this is going to start the second part of his name. With this effect completed, go ahead and copy that key, paste it into the I key, select off the keyboard, reselect the eye, click on their color gradient and do the same thing. Add a new node, drag that in, pink, green, red, and you can make these colors whatever you want. This is just what I chose. Invisible and delete the last one. So now it starts to begin spelling the middle part of his name. I'm gonna delete the W key now while we're in here. We don't need the W for the middle part of his name. So for this effect layer, you can delete out what you created in the first one. Continuing on, we're just going to copy the I key and you're gonna do this for his whole entire name. I hope you guys can do the last part of his name on his own. All you gotta do is just make sure you're skipping the right amount of nodes and adding them in where you need to. Okay guys, so I've finished spelling out his name and you can see I've added another effect layer here to spell out the last part of his name. So I have it in three sections, pew, d, pi. And you can see on this preview how it spells out his name. What I've also included with this design was a white reactive effect that's fast. And I'm just going to hold control and scroll wheel down a little bit to zoom out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add a reactive layer. And with this new reactive layer, we're gonna select all of these keys that have a button. And we're gonna click on this color drop down. and I chose white for a reactive just cause I really like that color for a reactive, it pops. You guys can choose whatever you want. Choosing white and I'm going to make it a really fast duration. So I don't want it to stay on the keyboard very long. You can, once again, you can make it whatever you guys want. So now that we've added that, we're gonna hit save. I've also added a caps lock and num lock indicator and you can do that this way. So add a brand new wave layer and we're gonna rename this to caps slash num for caps and num lock. And for this wave layer, we're going to hold control and we're gonna select the caps key and the num lock key. We're gonna click on our color gradient here and we're gonna choose this two node pattern here. On the far left, we're gonna make it white 
on the far right, we're also going to make that white. So whatever color you choose here for this, what you're going to want to do is make both ends the same color. Okay, once we've done that, I'm going to click off of there. I'm going to keep my speed and my width and all that stuff is going to stay the same. But down here under playback, we're going to click on the start and we're going to change that to on selected keys. And we're going to change the end to on selected keys. So now when we select this key, I'm going to hit save. So now you can see when you select the caps key, it turns on white and it will stay white until you press it again. Right now you can see it's lighting up both keys even if I press just the caps key. To make this not do that anymore, select one of the keys, click on your color gradient, click on one of the nodes, and we're gonna change the very last digit to an E. Still basically gonna be a white design, but we've made this one different than the other key and hit save. So now you can see if I press just the caps, only the caps lights up. And if I press the num lock, only the num lock lights up. Also with this same caps and num lock layer, I've used this layer to kind of create some black lighting on my peripherals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold control and just select all of my devices while still holding control I'm just gonna select my keyboard again so I have all of my devices selected and I'm going to click on this color drop down and I'm gonna choose this three node color in here I'm gonna make this first node invisible this middle node I'm going to make black and this last node I'm also gonna make invisible and just drag those in close. So you just have this small little thin black line. Click off of there and I'm gonna angle it down somewhere in this area like this. I'm gonna change my width percentage to 50%, maybe slow it down a little bit to speed 10. I'm gonna go with seven and hit save. So now you can see on my other peripherals, I got a little bit of black going on with that as well. To get back to a normal layout view, just hold control and tap the zero key and it will auto zoom. But that's all I did for this design guys. I hope you guys liked it. Here's the preview, check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon, that way you guys don't miss out on future keyboard lighting videos. If you guys have any special requests, please leave a comment in the comment section below, or you can follow me on my social media accounts. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and you can even check me out on Twitch every once in a while. Come on in there if you have any ideas and I'd be happy to hear them. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next video.